What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica. If you don't know that already, I love all things makeup and beauty. I'm also a mother, so I apologize if you hear my kids in the background. I can't do anything about it. So, I have another tutorial today. Kind of this... So, I was going for neutral. I, I don't know what that means, obviously, because this is like crazy. But, um, <clears throat> it's a vibe, so... My sister was actually telling me that um, a video that she would like to see from me would be um, like how I cut my crease like in depth. So let me know if that's something that you guys are interested in because um, I do have a very different technique that I did learn from the ladies at P. Louise. So if you're interested in that, let me know and I could definitely make a video of how I cut my crease like a really in-depth tutorial. Um, so yeah. Um, also I, I post all of my, um, I post all of my completed looks on my Instagram. You could also follow me on Twitter if you're interested. I'll leave the, my names somewhere. I'll link them. Um, so that way you guys could check me out. Definitely give me a follow. Um, and also don't forget to like and subscribe here on YouTube. I really appreciate it. And without further ado, let's get started. I did recently change my setup, so I'm a little bit further back from my camera than I usually am. Um, so I'm gonna zoom in the same amount that I would that I used to zoom in before. So it's gonna be a lot less closer, close, a lot less closer. So like you know, you get to enjoy all this, the whole video. So um, I just wanted to you know try something new. I wanted to. I'm always trying to improve my techniques. So I'm currently eight months pregnant and so I can't fully push myself all the way up against this desk as far as I'd like to um so I gotta kind of sit back a little bit I don't like that like when I do the dishes I like to be like completely into my into my sink or into my counter um so the palette that I used to create this look today was my me myself and Mamamo Mitchell palette I really wanted to use it more because huh, I'm trying to talk my sister actually into buying me the uh, Be Perfect Carnival Extra Large Pro Palette, you know? Um, so I figure I, be I better show her that it's worth it, you know, but use my rainbow palettes. So, um, <clears throat> so I am going to be using this palette. I'm going to start, as always, by priming my eyelids, of course, with my P. Louise base in the shade number two okay so my eyelid is prepped and primed so the first shade that I'm gonna be taking is this red right here I'm gonna take this red right here which is called M -M -M mad and then I'm gonna just take my new P Louise brush this is actually gonna be I think, second time I've ever used it cuz it's I don't like to besmirch my products so I'm going to take this red and I'm not going to pack it too, too deep because this is going to be like a middle shade. But I did go in with this shade first because I tried doing it, um, I tried going with the brown first and I took it far too high and then I couldn't fit the other colors in there. So I decided to go in with the red first, that way it kind of gives me... A guideline to be like hey bitch you're doing too much like you might want to slow it down a little bit so I'm just gonna try my best to keep this light handed and just really go soft on the outer part it looks kind of pink blended out but that's all right because I don't need it to be super super deep red not the vibe I was going for so now that that's pretty good, um, I'm not worried about it being perfect just yet. So I have plenty of time to go back in and blend it better. I'm next going to take this shade right here, which is called Main, which is the shade that broke. I was watching Makeup Missa, if you don't know who that is. Um, she's just amazing. I love her accent. I love watching her videos. Um, 
this palette is like one of her favorite palettes and when she used this um when she used this specific color it looked kind of like reddish on camera so then when i was you know going in with it i was like oh okay maybe if i use this brown it'll come off a little bit red and then i could get like a maroon vibe going on and it's also broken so i'm trying to use it up <laughs> so yeah so there's my thought process on mixing these colors together anyone gives a shit and I'm just gonna do my best to blend this out so I'm just gonna bring this all the way in I'm also really excited because my husband told me no more makeup while we're under quarantine but I convinced him to buy me a ring light finally so that should be coming so hopefully my lighting and my video quality is just a little bit better but it won't be here for a few, for like a week, so enjoy my videos as is, but hopefully they look better in the coming future. So what I'm going to do is I'm just taking this and I'm just lightly buffing it into that red, but I'm not going further than the red. I want to keep it lower. So I'm going to be taking this shade right here called Macaroni. It's kind of this really ugly color, and I just wanted to put it to good use. Ooh. And I kind of have an idea for what I might want to do for one of my next looks. So, um, a little bit of this one does go a long way, so I'd be sure to tap off the excess. And then I'm just going to slowly start lightly buffing this into the red. And then it, it does like mix with the red on the brush. So I'm like kind of wiping it off in between so that it stays that really nice like ugly macaron color. Macaron. Macaroni color. But I'm just going to lightly, lightly blend the edges of this red out. I feel like these colors together kind of make like a peachy tone. And I really like that. So it's pretty harsh, so I'm just going to take a clean Makeup Shack brush and just kind of soften the edges a little bit. And then now I'm going to go back in with both of my previous colors, so the red first. Bring that red back, blend it a little bit into that yellow. And then go back in with that brown shade. Blend that up into the red. That way we're not losing any of the colors. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this black at a time to really just deepen the whole like crease. Like already that looks so pretty. So I'll take a little bit and then I'll drag it in. And then I'll start to blend it out. So once I kind of got that black laid down, I'm going to go back in with the brown to soften the edges of the black. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut my crease out using Vaseline because I really need a nice crisp line. And then we can come back and do this kind of ombre eyeliner I got going on. So I put the camera down a little bit because I know when I'm going to go in to cut my crease, I'm going to get really close to my mirror. I'm going to get like down here. So next step so as you can see i just clean that up using some vaseline so next i'm going to be taking my p louise basic brights we have yes i yellow ott orange and rude boy red um the the yellow one kind of has a weird like consistency it's kind of like a little bit like separate like i don't know the formula is a little separated but I bought it so I use it still um, but the other bases have a really nice consistency so that's good but so what I do for the um, yellow base is I just squeeze it onto a wipe or a paper towel which I always have a wipe next to me so I just squeeze it onto a wipe a little baby wipe and then I'll take the orange and the red and put a little dollop on the back of my hand which you don't need that much for this little tiny ombre cut crease that I'm doing I always put too much but it's better to have too much than too little so I'm just going to take the tip of this 
and line up the yellow right in the front. Like so. And then I'm going to wipe my brush off on the wipe. And I'm going to go in with just a little bit of that orange. Like, look at Like, just so pigmented. And I'll put it right in the middle. I did blend it into that yellow just a little bit. Not too much. It doesn't really matter to me. And then now I'm going to take the red, which the red does stain. So just keep that in mind. And I'm going to put it at the back. I noticed whenever I use these bases, I always use all three of these ones together. Like every time. Like this is my favorite type of ombre liner to do. I'm now going to take my my Batty Cosmetics Neon Pigments, which my ch my child did. He opened the blue one, spilled the blue. There's only like a little smidgy widgy left in the blue. And then he broke the top of the red. I still have it though. I just put it in a separate container. But kids, man. So I'm going to start by taking the yellow. So I'm actually going to take the yellow, the orange, and the red. So I'm going to take all three of these right here. So I'm just going to take a little flat brush. And I'm just going to dip it into... I'm just going to dip it into the pigment. And I'm just going to... Oh, press it down right on top of this yellow. And then I'm just going to repeat those steps using the, using the orange and the pink as well. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take more Vaseline and I'm going to clean that line up and then pack the base down. I'll take this Simply Simon brush first and get really, really close so I use this to get really close to that cut and then now I'm going to go back in with the brown and the black and just kind of press it and Pull back a little bit. Uh, and then I'll go back in with the black. And blend it almost all the way to the brown. Make sure it's nice and smoked out in this corner. Next I'm going to take this gold shade right here which is called Master. And I'm just going to take this on a packing brush. And I'm just going to pat it in right at the tail end, all the way up to the ombre liner. And then I'm going to take this gold right here, which is called Melted, and I'm going to pack this right in the middle. Oh my god, look at that pigment. Oh my god. 
all the way up to the ombre liner. So I decided to go in with minty, which does have a slightly green shift, but I felt like the pink and the purple shift wasn't going to really go with what I had going on. And then I was debating, so... I love gel liner, so I was debating between using my ink liner and my um, AMC gel liner, the black one. Um, I decided to go in with my the ink liner by Pretty Vulgar, just because um, there is so much in this, and there's, I mean, there's a lot in my other one, but I mean, I don't want to use it all up right away. This still has, like, so much in it, and I'm going to go ahead and create a winged liner. <laughs> So I just took that black liner all the way across my waterline, just getting thicker as I got further um, further out towards the end. And then I'm going to go back in with the black and set it on the liner. Not that you need to, I just like to. I don't know if it makes a difference, but I feel like it does. And then I'm going to smoke out the edge of this. So that way it blends into the black that I previously had on there. Okay, so that is just about it for the top of the eyes. Um, I'm going to go on ahead and do my face makeup off camera. And then I will come back and we can finish up I'll probably come back and then do lashes and then finish up my lower lash line and um, do my highlight as well um, lashes and highlight are one of my favorite part of my makeup routine so I really like doing it on camera just to see the difference that those two things could really make a whole look so I'm gonna go ahead and jump on ahead. so I am back I got my face on I actually used um, the shade Mr. H, this pink right here, for my blush today. It looks cute. And then for my lips, I used my LA Girl um, lip liner in neutral cream. And then my Milani Teddy Bear lipstick. So this is the combo I used on my lips. Super pretty. I feel like it really goes with this look. So, um, next up, we are going to do lashes, which I'm going to take my Beauty Creation Lashes, and these ones are in Overcommitted. Gel liner in my waterline, and then I'm going to go ahead and stick these lashes on. And then we're going to go ahead and do the under eye. So I'm going to start with black. And then I'm going to take the brown. do the red and then the yellow so I'm going to take the same mint shade and just pop this in the inner corner Alright, so lastly, I'm going to highlight, and I'm going to take my Ofra um, Nikki Tutorials collab in Glazed Donut. I'm going to start with my nose, my brow bone, 
and then I'm gonna take a fluffier brush for my face. So that completes this tutorial. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. Um, this is this is as neutral as it gets. So um, yeah. So if you want to see more videos like this, let me know. Um, like I said, if you want an in-depth tutorial on my cut creases, let me know. Whatever content that you guys want to see, let me know. Um, so yeah. So that that is it for the video. Um, there will be plenty more tutorials where this one came from, and we're going to go ahead and roll the clip. Mm -hmm.